Hey, it's RC time with our W burning the midnight oils. I work on my Euphoria tube chassis rock racer. It's been a long time coming, but I've finally gotten to the point where I can put some axles underneath it and kind of eyeball it and try and get an idea of wheelbase, get an idea of how I'm going to make the shocks work out. We're looking at about a 12 and a half inch wheelbase. It's like 317 millimeters, something like that. You can see how nice the uh, transmission fits in there. It's pretty sweet, huh? And the transfer case. I just need a short shaft coming down from that. These are regular old uh, AX10 MIP drive shafts here, so. Kind of limited to your wheelbase, you can only get to about 12 and a half before you start overextending your drive shafts. You need to get bigger drive shafts, which is an option. But I like to go with more of a more of a vertical shock on this vehicle. And I'll give you an idea of how the shocks line up here. Uh, I like these Entergy shocks; they're kind of large, but they'll work. And I'm thinking that what I'm going to end up having to do is section this. I'm going to have to uh, cut out these tubes here in between the flat parts. And then I'm going to have to join the whole thing together in the center so that I can get my shocks to do what I want. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of um, material underneath here across. Um, I'm thinking about using flat uh, aluminum, like eighth inch by one inch, I'm just bridging it, bending it, bolting it. It just should be pretty sturdy. Um, and then putting uh, holes so I can put uh, screws through and I can uh, bolt rod ends underneath and I can make double shear bracing for my shocks and bring them in a little more so I can triangulate out a little more. And then they'll go down through where the uh, basically where the tubes are because if you look straight down through it you see what I'm dealing with here the, the shock is going to ride on the tube so the springs are going to rub on the tube of the chassis if I try to come straight down and hook up with my um, mounts that are on the axle I just use these spacers and stuff to kind of get some idea of where it's going to go. This wouldn't work. I don't think this would work at all. But I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm trying to see what to do. As you can see, the tubes in the way. Just a little bit, you know. If I was like using something like Old Man Emu type shocks, internal spring shocks, if I were to mod these shocks with the mini T's. I think it would be fine. I could, I could mod those with many T springs and uh, they'd work great. What I mean by that is you take off the big spring and you run a smaller spring in between here and the body of the shock. Then you don't have to worry about it rubbing on the frame. So I could do it that way too and avoid having to cut things. But that means I have to buy uh, Jeep and Doug cups or somebody else's cups and uh, Put uh, little small springs on them. It's not a terrible idea. It's not the worst idea. The front's pretty easy. The front lines up great. No problem with the front. You can see I can drop a shock right down and hit my you know, stuff. Just perfect. So, and uh, I can put my pan hard bar on here. I could make it even simple. I could just drill a hole, put a rod end, and hook uh, the panhard bar right to a rod end right there. Very simple. Shoulder bolt goes here. Horn's going to work great either way, however I do it. Shafts look to be lining up nice. So, that's it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look of where I'm at. Took a while to get here. I'm not going to rush it, um, just going to plod along, figure out what I need to do, and do it. I'm going to avoid cutting the chassis at all costs, I'll try and figure out everything I can 
before I cut the chassis. But it is an option. It is an option. Something like uh, what I think would work great here is, is if I could braze and stuff would be to put an X or something in there. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'll figure something out. All right then. Well, thanks for uh, joining me. A little look at this here, and uh, appreciate all your comments, your likes, your subscriptions to my channel. You can check me out on rccforums.com, rccrawlerforums, where I'm Mountain Storm. Appreciate it.